Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, I want to speak to my Proverbs 31 man and just share some wisdom, you know, that I found just from reading Proverbs 31. Um, it was very insightful. You know, I can read Proverbs 31 many times and each time get a new revelation, right? And so um, this past Sunday, yesterday, matter of fact, I took the time out, you know, I just spent the whole day with the Lord and I was reading the book of Proverbs, you know, um, specifically Proverbs 31. And I couldn't help but notice that the first nine um, verses of Proverbs 31, you know, um, this is written by the son, right? His mother was sharing with, with her son wisdom, right? And I couldn't help but notice how she started off dealing with him she started off sharing with him this is how you are to conduct yourself right first she she laid the foundation on this is how you are to you know uh conduct yourself respond and then you know starting at verse 10 she went into teaching him about um the proverbs 31 woman right and so let's talk about this proverbs 31 man um, and just some of the things that, you know, his mother, the wisdom she shared with her son, okay? Um, because it's valuable, right? And so, let's start with verse number two. It say, oh, my sons, oh, son of my womb, oh, son of my vows, do not spend your strength on women, your virgo on those who ruin kings right now that's verse number three so let's break this down let's stop do not spend your strength on women so she's telling her son do not spend your strength on women right i looked up the, um you know some synonyms for the definition for strength it means wealth might ability riches power substance right so she's telling her son baby son baby boy do not spend your strength do not spend your wealth your ability your riches your power your substance right the essence of who you are on women right she goes on to say your virgo on those who ruin kings right she's teaching him how to value himself she's like don't spend your wealth your riches, your power, who you are, your substance on women who ruin kings. And she's speaking to the king in him. She's referring to her son as a king, right? This is important. This is very important, okay? It's really important when you, like if you're a mother and you have um, sons, you got boys, it's very important for you to speak to the king and your son, okay? Because he need to hear that now. So that, you know, when he get older and he's out here, you know, uh, dating these women, he won't be so quick to run in the hands of the first woman who called him king. And she could be, you know, she could probably be a snake, right? You just never know. So he need to hear in the home he is a king. He need to hear that coming out of his, his mother's mouth, right? I refer to my... um my second son, because he's uh, eight years old, I, I, I be, sometimes I will call him King Jalen. Other times I say, you're the prince, right? And then my oldest son, I call him King, and I also refer to him as CEO, right? Because that's what I see in him. So I speak to the king and my children, right? And my boys. And that's what this mother was doing right here. She called her son King, and she was like, listen here, this is wisdom coming out of your mother's mouth. Do not spend your time, your energy, your strength, your riches, your power, your substance on women who ruin kings, right? To ruin means to reduce to wreckage, to damage beyond repair, to destroy, to make bankrupt, to deprive, to reduce to poverty, to break or destroy something. We got to understand what we're dealing with here, okay? To my Proverbs 31 man, do not spend your strength on women who reduce you to poverty. Do not spend your do not spend your strength on, you know, women who reduce you to poverty or bankruptcy, okay? Do not spend your strength on the woman who damaged you beyond repair. 
Do not spend your strength on the woman who's trying to break you. This is what she's telling him. Okay, let's move on to verse number four. Let me get my Bible. Verse four, it says, It is not for kings, O Lamel, I think that's how you pronounce his name, not for kings to drink wine, not for rulers to crave beer. And she's about to tell him why. Verse number five, lest they drink and forget what the law decrees and deprive all the oppressed of their rights. She's telling him, it's not good for you to drink. It's not good for a king, okay? It's not good for a king uh, to drink wine or crave beer. To crave means to feel a powerful desire for something, to beg for something, to loan for, for to loan for, want, greatly uh, need, right? So she's telling him, it's not good uh, for, for kings to drink wine or crave beer. Here's why it's not good, because he might forget what the law decrees and deprive all the oppressed of their rights. And this will remove him from his position as king, okay? This was some wisdom she was sharing with her son. I was just like, oh my God, when I was reading all this stuff. Um, let's continue on, let's see. Verse number six, give beer. Now she's telling him, give beer to those who are perishing, wine to those who are in anguish. Why? Number verse seven, let them drink and forget and forget their poverty and remember their misery no more. This is why she's telling him that. Verse number eight, speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, for the rights of all who are destitute. Speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and needy. So this was verses number one through nine. And she's telling him. She just set the, the you know, the foundation. She's like, listen here. Okay, don't spend, you know, uh, your, your your strength on basically foolish women who are trying to break you, who are trying to destroy you. Okay, recognize that you are a king. And kings, you know, only associate themselves with queens, right? This is what she's telling him. And then she's also going on to tell him, listen, stay away from wine and beer. Um, because, it, you know, you. she's basically telling him because... When you're drinking these things, right, you can develop a craving to something that is that isn't beneficial, you know, to you, right? And so she's telling him, you know, do not like stay away from it, right? Because it might cause you to forget the laws and decrees and deprive all the oppressed of their rights, right? So it might cause you to act out of character. It might cause you to bring dishonor on your own name, your own status as a king, right? It may cause you to hurt the people you were called to save, right? So, and she's, you know, she just, it was just so much wisdom here. And then she tell him, speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, right? She's like, don't stay quiet, you a king. You in that position for a reason. So I need you to speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, for the rights of all who are destitute. So that means without money, speak up for those who, who, who are without money, who are without possession, who are without food, clothing, shelter, right? Speak up for the poor. That's what she's telling him. Speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and the needy. So I thought that was some good wisdom, sound advice she gave to her son. I'm going to do another video, um, you know, dealing with the Proverbs 31 woman, because after she gave him this advice, this wisdom, she, she, then she went into teaching him, this is the type of wife you want to, you know, look for and, and make your wife, make your queen. Right. And so I'm going to share with, share, I'm going to share that. I'm going to talk about it in the next video. Okay. Uh, but that is it. I thought that was some great wisdom from our Proverbs 31 man. Okay, it's time for our man to recognize your queen. It's time for you to, you know, really understand, you know, when a woman is showing you her fruit, when she is trying to damage you, ruin you, bring you down. Okay, that is fruit, right? And we must begin to recognize the fruit so that we can begin to identify, you know, this root, this person, this individual has a bitter root inside of them, right? And we know this because the Bible said you will know them by their fruit. So your fruit is showing, right? And so you don't associate, when you're a king, 
when you're called to royalty, right? You in the kingdom of God, you don't associate yourself with someone, you know, that's trying to tear you down to pieces, okay? You, um, you know, you release them and wish them well. Pray for them and keep it moving, right? That's how, you know, we got to begin to uh, move as kings and queens, okay? So I wanted to share this video with you. I am Tequila Coleman. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a positive comment. I'll talk to you all real soon. Take care.